Hey, this is Darren uh, from Ventures Green doing the August 2023 video update. All right, just showing my potato tower still going here. Looks like it might be ready for harvest fairly soon. So we'll see what that looks like in a few weeks, maybe. Get that going. I've done a little uh, landscaping fabric and mulch here. I uh, do have some raspberries finally coming here. I don't know if you can see those very well. A few on the different canes here, so that's good. Transplanted some lettuce in here. Those beds are still getting pretty weedy, so I still got a lot of weeds going on here. Uh, but do have some production out here that I'm going to start to sell pretty quick here. So I'll just head on out to here. Uh, these beds are doing okay here. I do have some wireworm in here. This is lettuce here. Uh, this brown area looks like wireworms are getting into the roots. So I'll probably put down a potato trap. Uh, just put in a potato and try to let them uh, uh, jump onto the potato and then pull out the potato and kill them type of thing and try to get rid of them. We'll see, but hopefully it doesn't take out my whole bed here. I do have a full bed of uh, lettuce coming up here. And I do have a, have a, some random lettuce head inside of my, right beside my tomato plant there too, for some reason. Tomatoes, so there are some that are starting to turn red here. So that's good. I think there's two different kinds of tomatoes here. I got these from Stanley, so I'm not exactly sure what kinds they are. Uh, maybe a Manitoba or a beef steak. And maybe another one, not sure. Uh, but those are doing okay. I've got some kale over there as well. You can see that. So I pulled out the weeds on that bed and uh, there was some kale growing, but uh, pretty limited. So I'll have to replant some kale here. Get that going. Uh, these black garbage bags have weeds in them. So I'm trying to kill the weed seeds. Uh, it's supposed to be plus 30 something like in the 90s uh, Fahrenheit temperatures this week. So hopefully that kills them in the bags there. And uh, hopping over to here as well. So these are carrots coming up in between my weeds. So uh, difficult to weed uh, carrots because they're so uh, tight in there. And if I pull out a weed, it'll probably pull out some carrots. So that's kind of why I've been leaving the weeds in here with the carrots, uh, but also broccoli is in here as well. I've kind of interplanted broccoli and at the end here, of, you can see the cabbage at the end here as well as the broccoli on the other side and the cabbage on this side. Uh, so that's good. And I do have some beans up, but they're kind of hide, hidden in the weeds, but they are growing pretty good. And the, in the clear plastic over there, you can kind of see it in the sun there. I do have some large uh, zucchini plants coming up, so I've got some zucchinis coming with the nice uh, morning flowers, male flower, and then the female flower as well for pollination. So I think that's about it. I do have uh, pretty much all of my beds cultivated now and prepared, so I'm probably not gonna do the rest. It's all pretty weedy. So I think I'm gonna do some solarization, maybe throw some black plastic or an clear plastic and see what the difference is there and try to uh, kill the uh, all the weeds over there you can see all right so that's about it for the update this week